In this example, uh, we're shown the graph of a polynomial function, uh, but we're not shown uh, the formula for this function. And uh, what we want to determine is uh, what's the minimum degree uh, this uh, polynomial function uh, can have uh, just by uh, observing the graph. So let's recall uh, a couple of uh, basic gra uh, uh, facts about uh, polynomial functions. These are very important facts. Um, and that is that, uh, uh, and these facts are, that the maximum number of x-intercepts uh, that a polynomial uh, function can have uh, is the same as the degree um, of the polynomial function. And then also the maximum number of local extrema uh, or turning points um, for a polynomial function uh, is the same as the degree uh, of the function minus 1. So um, this polynomial function uh, doesn't appear to have any x-intercepts. Uh, so this first fact is not going to help us determine um, uh, what the minimum degree uh, of this polynomial could be. Uh, but it does have uh, some local extrema. It does have some turning points. So it appears to have 1, 2, 3 uh, turning points. And so since we know that the maximum number of turning points is the same uh, as the degree minus 1, then that means uh, that uh, the degree of this polynomial function can be no less than um, uh, 4. Uh, because if this uh, polynomial fun uh, uh, function had, uh, for instance, degree 3, then it can have at most 2 turning points, but we see th 3 turning points. Or um, likewise, if uh, this polynomial function had degree 2, then it could have at most 1 turning point, uh, but again, we see uh, 3 turning points. So we know that the minimum degree uh, that the function f can have um, is 4. Now, that doesn't mean that uh, the degree of this function f is 4, uh, but that's the smallest uh, possible degree uh, that it could have, uh, because again, the number of turning points that we see here uh, is 3.